Ladies and gentlemen, I have been waiting for today for what feels like forever now. And as you guys can tell by the title above, we have something very, very special for today's video. As you guys know by now, I don't really like to do any specific car features or single car features unless it's really, really special. What up, brother? What's going on? How you doing? You know, there's, there's a door. You could have just came around. No, but this is, it's wide angle. It's, it's you more know? dramatic, right? It's better. So if you guys don't know, this is my guy, Mark, here. This is your little... Uh, HQ, you want to call it? <laughs> I don't want to kill you. <laughs> yeah, this is me and Ron's little a little man cave. Want to give me a little tour of this place, you know? Yeah, so the cars are here and Ron's right there. That's basically it. Hey, Ron. <laughs> it's our little chill area here for, you know, got some fights, couches. Couches, uh -huh. watching the fights. We got some beautiful BBSs over here. BBSs. Motorcycle. Up. What's what's up there? What's going on up there? Over there, it's um well, if you want to have some private time, uh -huh. uh, there's lube, lotion. As you guys can tell by the title, I am here for this thing right here. But I want you to give me a rundown of all the cars you've owned before this thing. Okay. Uh, I'd say the most notable one dated back out of fucking seven years ago or eight years ago. I had a Liberty Walk Porsche Turbo S, which by the way, I was one of the first to do the center exit open exhaust you're one the of back. the first to do everything by the way <laughs> i don't know how much research i actually do to see if i'm the first or not i'll just do a quick search if it's not on the top page then i'm the first <laughs> so i had i had a liberty walk turbo s then after that i got the huracan i don't know if you guys have seen that before but you I, don't think they've seen it they probably have seen it it was a super trofeo wide body huracan that was also the first street car in the world i did that too while i had the huracan i had the brabus g-wagon lifted uh on te's also one of the first uh, in the world to do that as well. It was the first one to lift it. No big deal, who cares who was the first, but oh, I yeah, did yeah. that. I had a Tesla Model X, highly modified there. I have a Model Y, I like Teslas for the daily stuff. I also have an S15, it's Rocket Bunny. I have that, you can rip that anytime you want <laughs> when it's done. I have the S15, I have the R34, the GTR, my second one. Oh yeah, the F12, I have the F12 of course. I don't really give a shit about this car, but that I have that as well. So you like the Nardo theme, huh? Yeah, it's kind of my thing. Uh -huh. uh, Nardo or gray, Grigio Telesto with yellow brakes. This thing's Nardo, this thing's Nardo. The Huracan was Nardo at one point. The, the Huracan's Grigio Telesto. Sorry, clear. I'm sorry. This is Grigio Scuro, okay? <laughs> but who is, it's semantics here. They're all fucking gray. Yeah, I love gray cars, yellow brakes or teal brakes or whatever. I just really like the gray. That's a sick theme. It's yeah. a nice theme. Absolutely. It's like my black or white. Mine is the blue and yellow. There you go. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. got their thing. Absolutely. That's my thing. I love it. God, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I had the Rocket Bunny NSX, which I gave away. and Which we filmed last time, <laughs> right on over exactly. there. Exactly, we filmed last time. I gave it away. I actually did give it away. <laughs> uh, the boy, uh, he won it. It's in Miami. There's, you know, he sent me pictures of it and all that stuff. And then last but not least, what we're here for today. And last but not least, one of my favorite cars that I've ever owned or ever built uh -huh. is my 2020 Toyota Supra. Exterior, I have a full aim gain, uh, carbon, front lip, side skirts, rear diffuser. It usually comes dual exit, but since I have a single exit exhaust, we oh, kind of yeah. covered that up. So Is that a Tomei it. or what? It's HKS? not a Tobe, no. It's HKS. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like Tomei's, but that's Fresh Kicks and shit. So uh, I got HKS, I have a Saibon. Uh, carbon wing, as far as the wheels, Workmeisters. These obviously. are the nicest set of wheels I think I've ever seen. We have EVS fenders mm -hmm. on the car. Uh, really I love, love those. Yeah, I love those. Those are a must have for stock body Supras. Uh, APG, eight piston front brakes. And as far as the exterior, that's pretty much it. Now the inside, it's relatively stock. It just have these Brid Lomaxes with Takata harnesses, Vertex steering wheel, and then obviously the six speed transmission which these cars don't come six speed. I know that's not a world's first because I saw the world's first manual at Vegas Convention Center. So did I, so yes. did I. It was like Euro, European Auto Works or something. Something like they that, They did yeah. it, so it's definitely not a world's first. But um, you were one of the first few to do it, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I've, I've only seen one manual swapped, at least that's out there on the internet. Yeah. And uh, I know they did it at SEMA, so I'm definitely not the world's first. But 
you know, made it look factory in there. And also we have a custom cage from Mobile Welt Specialist. Yeah, I think it's cool. It's like teal, huh? Yeah, pretty sick cage. And it matches cage. with the wheels. The motor is <laughs> stock for the most part. Uh huh. Maybe stock, but it does not belong to this car. Yep. I don't know what to say. There's a lot to say here. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's obviously a 2J fully built 3.0 five angle valve job on the head. I have 278 cams, GSE cams, HKS cam gears. I have a sleeper design manifold, 76, 75 precision turbo. The whole works, pistons, rods, everything. Bunch and of it, custom piping, huh? Bunch of custom titanium piping. I love it, man. I love it. You can see it from the front too, which is the sickest thing. Oh, yeah, I love that. that. That was the point. I that love that really, little piece right there. It's awesome. And it's on low boost right now, just cause I keep breaking shit. <laughs> but uh, 412 did the swap and shout outs to 412. It's on low boost. It's only making like maybe 800 right now. That's it. It's low boost. <laughs> I'm on 18 pounds. This car can take, this motor can take like 40, 45 pounds. So. Have you pushed it that far? Yeah, you break shit, huh? We started breaking <laughs> shit. I, I just split the drive shaft and blew the transmission to smithereens like two weeks ago. Redid the drive shaft, put a brand new transmission in here. By the way, I'm running E46 M3 transmission, six speed. Tranny's super solid. It's just a drive shaft that's weak. So That's crazy, bro. You have fucking parts from every car that's ever been manufactured on this thing. Exactly. And well, kind of. And <laughs> when the drive shaft was okay, we blew the diff. So it's like, take your pick. What are we blowing here? The diff, the act. Factory curb weights around 3,300. I probably added a couple hundred pounds from the cast iron too. J, big Plus another gear. like 300 for you. Well, if I take a shit, I mean, it really, <laughs> it really depends on you know what what I ate that morning. I haven't eaten anything today, so it's gonna be fast. So it's gonna feel quick, huh? It's gonna feel kind of quick. So what goes on when you start the vehicle? Small little backstory. So this car took uh, 412 and myself about two years to build. Obviously, we built a really good relationship with each other, talking shit back and forth. They're <laughs> Middle Eastern, I'm Middle Eastern. We're all Middle Eastern, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're just talking shit, and I think just as kind of like a the final fuck you mark type thing, <laughs> they kind of set up a special screen for me every single time I start an ignition for the car, and <laughs> this is kind of what it is. Eat a dick. <laughs> so, that's kind of fun. I like it, I don't want to change it. I miss this E85 smell. I haven't smelled this since my Evo, man. It brings back memories. This chassis has like 400 miles on it. Brand new, huh? Yeah, brand new. It has that brand new car smell. Kind of, right? What the fuck? I'm gonna try as physically hard as I can to not talk during this and let you guys just enjoy the sound. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I was not expecting that at all. I wasn't expecting to do that right off the gate, but you know, <laughs> supercar sucks. This guy turned out of his driveway. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I didn't know I was gonna fucking shoot an AK out the back. Look, I really don't want to jinx this, but how's the pullover situation been? Nothing? No tickets, nothing. I'm one state ref ticket away from <laughs> moving the fucking Texas. Yeah. <laughs> really wanted to he could just leave me out here in the middle of nowhere and I'd probably I'd probably die out here oh he stopped for me <laughs> Man. <laughs> Sound good? 
It sounds great. It sounds like fucking by. fantastic, bro. But if you really want it to go fast, you could throw a drag pack on here and go fast if you wanted to. But 100%. I like how it looks. I wouldn't change anything on this I car. I actually like when it when it yeah when it loses traction a little bit because it's more fun. <laughs> you just kind of stay in it and it's more fun. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it. I love it. Ooh, well, that's nice. It's a nice little snack. <laughs> a nice little snack? Yeah, it's, I haven't eaten yet, so, you know, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> cool. Now, what do you think if I put a 2J in my Z? I love that. Yeah? I feel like you would approve of that idea. I had a single turbo G35. I'm not the biggest fan of the sound. That's why I don't like GTRs, R35s, because it just sounds like a fucking... And that is why I haven't bought an R35, I actually. don't like it. I love swapped Zs. There's a lot of room for it. You can swap a RB in it, you can swap a 2J in it, you can swap whatever you want in it. But you, you might have just convinced me here. I definitely approve, and I would even recommend swapping a 1J. They're cheaper, they're higher revving, and you can just fucking abuse the shit out of it. Abuse the fuck out of it. I think that, that might be the move. Yeah. And there's a, there's a few 2J Zs already, so yeah. I think 1J will be a little bit more unique. So maybe coming soon, boys. Whose Tesla is this? Mine. <laughs> it's hard, huh? What body kit is that? It's a CMST. We're actually gonna go wide body tomorrow. Oh God. We're gonna cut the fenders and all that shit, and I'm gonna slam it on LMs. Thank you again, man. Thank pleasure. you again. I've Always been smiling for the last 45 minutes. I'm gonna go home and be happy for the rest of the day. You have a channel too. I do. It's uh, Pterodactyl Tactics with a P. <laughs> I know it's hard to spell. Forget the spelling. Forget he even said that. I'm just gonna put the link down below. Go click on that. Subscribe to his channel. Thank He's you got guys. a bunch of cars. He's making epic content with every day. But uh, it. thank you again. Thank you, I'll see you it's next time, brother. And now we go from the manual 2JZ Supra into the 2010. Toyota Camry. Check out how cool the Tesla is. He's got a little like carbon fiber duck bill and the diffuser. Ladies and gentlemen, this Saturday at 12 p.m. I will be joining the Hot Boy Nation as we install my brand new 19 inch Hot Boy rims on the Z.